Anyway, the main reason this laptop is such a big deal is the chip, right? This M4 chip, it's really good. We already learned this from the M4 iPad Pro nine months ago, and then again with the M4 Mac Mini four months ago. This chip in the laptop will be passively cooled, so no fans in the air, unlike the Mac Mini. So yeah, sustained performance ceiling is going to be a bit lower. But for the quick bursty stuff, like normal computer activities, yeah, it's amazing, as expected. And then the specific benefit, in case you forgot, of the M4 over previous generations of Apple Silicon is going to be more AI-specific horsepower. So a more powerful 16-core neural engine. Some of that manifests itself in useless stuff like image playground, rendering images locally faster than ever before. Cool. But also some of that is potentially useful stuff like the background cutouts being quicker and more accurate or the single click photo enhancer in Pixelmator Pro being much faster. So when I tell you I could load up a bunch of 4K and 8K footage into a Final Cut Pro timeline and it would scrub through the timeline with almost no hesitation at quarter res playback resolution, and then it could export the project just a few beats slower than a Mac mini. That literally doesn't matter <laughs> to 99% of MacBook Air buyers, but the chip is so powerful, it's capable of it, so it's just good to know that you could.